This is a quick response video for Terry Hull because he was asking um, how to cast thin, rigid materials. And because I've been working on this already, I was able to respond very quickly. So Terry, what you need to do is uh, get yourself some of this stuff. This is casein. Now, I did a very, an earlier video on how to extract casein from milk and then how to get it in the salt, um, dissolved form uh, by adding it basically to an alkali solution. And when you add it to an alkali solution, casein dissolves. So it makes this very liquid, slightly alkali casein solution. Now, a good thing about casein is it goes rock hard very, very easily. It's something called galilith. It was invented in the sort of uh, 1900s, turn of the century by the Germans. Very, very popular until the Second World War, then died out because of uh, food processing, milk, and the rise of petrochemicals. But it's still an exceptionally hard material that once it's in this form, obviously you can cast it as thick or as thin as you like. Now, it does use one chemical that you're probably not going to be happy with, and that's this stuff, formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is really easy to handle as long as you handle it properly. What I tend to do is stick it in the fume cupboard, put a bit in a jar, and then whatever it is that I want to harden, I put into that jar, seal up the lid, and leave it for a period of time depending on the thickness. For the kind of thin films that you want, then the time that you're going to leave it is a sort of an hour or so. I've done a video on dangers, perils, and what to consider when looking at video, uh, formaldehyde, and I'll put that one up as well for you. But basically, all you do is pour that out into a mould of the thickness that you want. Now you've got to appreciate it's going to shrink, obviously, it's going to thin down, and the amount of water that you put in there is going to lead to a degree of cracking unless you put more um, casein in there. Now you don't have to extract the casein, you can just buy casein if you want and dissolve it in an alkali to the strength that you want. Cast it, let it dry, stick it in your formaldehyde and it's going to dry into sheets like this. Now it's clear as it happens, it's see-through. That's what it's like once it's dried and as you can see that's a really thin sheet. That's in the order of sort of uh, 25 microns thick and that's been formaldehyde cured so it's water resistant and pretty rigid. It's probably not as rigid as, we, as you want, but in order to get real rigidity out of it, what you do is put in additives. And there's a whole load of additives you can put in. You can put in marble dust, you can put in chalk, you can put in clay, uh, you can put in fibres. If you want some really tough, stick some Kevlar fibres in there. Now, as you know, I work on conductivity quite a lot, but here's a Galilee sheet that I've actually mixed with some um, ink. So this has got some of my conductive ink in it, and again, it's made a really thin sheet that is actually going to be conductive and is now waterproof because it's been hardened by formaldehyde. So a really good way of making rigid materials that are thin are essentially uh, buy or extract casein, dissolve it in alkali, put in additives that you want, pour it onto a mould of the thickness you want, you'll have to test it a little bit to get the right thickness, dry it and then soak it in formaldehyde until it's hard. And that's it. So I hope that answers your questions, Terry, and thank you very much for watching.